Hello world! Today I'll show you the TZKT profile verification process. To get verified on TZKT, you need to open our website, go to blog post, open the link, fill Google Forms, send the... <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. Forget about all this annoying stuff. We know how tough it used to be and finally we are happy to introduce the TZKT profiles. This is the simple and friendly way to fill your profile or contract with useful information. So let's take a closer look at profiles and the process of adding and verifying data for TZKT. To start, you need to log into your profile. Just connect your Tether's wallet via beacon and confirm the sign. No need to pay for it. The first thing you will see is a page with all accounts and originated contracts you can manage. And here's the main profile page. We'll get back to this later, for now let's focus on the process of adding information. Click here. There are three sections, basic info, social accounts and additional information. Pay attention to the list of required fields. Logo, profile name and verified social account from the second section. Without them, profile will not be considered as verified and consequently your data will not appear on TZKT. Let's add a logo, profile name, fill in the description and link for example Twitter and Telegram. Each of the operations of adding or updating information is atomic, so you don't need to look for a button to confirm all the data. There is no such button. Now it's time to go back to the profile page. Look, the information you entered in the previous step has already appeared in your profile including Twitter and Telegram, but do not rush to check your updates and contact support. Check update requests here. All requests to add or modify information about the current profile, their status and the reason why the request was rejected displayed here. Once again, the information on TZKT will appear only after the validation of a minimum set of required fields. Are all requests confirmed? Go to the site and enjoy it. By the way, you can do it in one action by clicking on the address link. Click. So let's get back to the page with the list of accounts and contracts. It's time to learn more about it. Managed accounts. This is a list of user accounts that you can edit just as easily as your main account information. Originated contracts. It's a set of contracts created by the current profile, as well as contracts for which this profile is specified as a manager. How do you give control of an account or contract to a manager? Piece of cake! To do this, go back to the profile editing page, go to the settings tab and add the account to which you want to give the control over your profile. You can do the same for each contract you have deployed. Also, on this tab you may have noticed the big red remove account button, I guess you couldn't miss it. We would prefer that you do not click on it. But nevertheless, you will always have the opportunity to remove your data and all links to social accounts. But beware, this operation can be undone. All data about your TZKT profile will be lost and you will have to start all over again. So, we've told you everything you need to know about the TZKT profiles. We hope that this product will simplify the process of adding and verifying your data for accounts on TZKT. Any questions? You can try to find the answers in the frequently asked questions or contact us in any way you like. Well, that's it for now. See ya on our explorer. Sincerely, Baking Bad Team.